Hi everybody, I'm Dee. And I'm Jay. And we, we are Pero DJ. DJ. And welcome to Norwegian Prima. Woohoo! We um, are already on board, but we, we need to show you how we got here. <laughs> um, now we've done two adventures in a row out of Miami. Our vehicle is still over at the Safe Cruise parking garage because mm -hmm. They were nice enough to let us bundle two weeks in a row. <laughs> that was cool. Um, but yeah, let's go through. I know this is the uh, one of the first sailings out of Florida, right? For first Norwegian revenue Prima. sailing for Florida. Yep, Ooh. correct. And it's over Thanksgiving, so that's different. First yeah. holiday sailing for Thanksgiving for us. True. And the ship is full, from what yeah. I understand. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's get into it. So let's jump back and catch you up with how we got here. Boom. <laughs> We have made it to the terminal, dropped our bags off, and we are ready to head across the street and get checked in. There's our first peaks at Prima. Look at that double slide on the side. We got water here in the terminal. So we are boarding group seven, and we just get to hang out here. They've got water, restroomings, and all that stuff until our group is called. the move we've turned in our boarding ticket we got cleared we just have to get dinged onto the ship and we're good to go yeah, a little hull art excitement well time for those primo steps on primo as it were <laughs> so we are entering here at beauty by design let's figure out what floor we're on okay he was telling everyone their muster stations as you arrived so we're deck seven aft oh this is the uh, ground level of the atrium okay so we are on the same level as the casino there's the crew's next desk let's have a look at this place atrium i think that means we're on deck six there's shore excursions we live on five. Oh yeah penrose bar behind all these lovely glass artworks we're going to try to see if we can get on the wi-fi because you do have to book shows and things and whatnot so that's our primary goal and you can't do a lot of that until you set foot on the ship hit airplane mode and join the wi-fi network so now we're going to do a little bit of planning we'll see you in a bit we have made three successful show bookings. Whoop whoop. I know. We already had two dining reservations booked before we got on the ship, so that helps. We're going to stroll through the casino here on six and then drop down to five to see if maybe we can put our stuff in the cabins. Do a little casino tour while we're at it. I'm the key master. Are you the gatekeeper? Huh. Yeah, looking at the deck map, they have, I guess, maybe this is non-smoking because they had something called a smoking casino. They also have a VIP casino in here somewhere. Ooh la la. Let us drop to deck five. Yeah, then we'll go locate muster on deck seven. Ooh, they do not have the hallway access open, so we don't have any sort of priority. So that's a no for now. Whoops. Ooh, let's check out the elevator situation. All right, we're going to match seven. Not the giganticest of elevators. See, we're having collisions already. No, backpack. The lift is going up. Oh, thanks. I like this infinite Starfield looking thing. <laughs> I see a little sign that says E. We are E1. And we're done. So our muster station. Oh my gosh, did they give you? Oh, I thought it was Aperol. Sustainable spritz. I remember the sustainable yeah, cocktails. So our muster station is the Metropolitan Bar. We're all checked in. Good to go. Video done. Ooh, humidor cigar lounge. It's very clean and classy looking in here. Something vintage feeling about it to me, but yeah, I like the style. I'm checking out the fancy cocktail menus. Everything is digital. Okay, they got some good looking stuff though. So I think the plan is to head back to these stairs. We'll go up one deck and that should put us at the Indulge Food Hall. So this deck has Ocean Boulevard. Yeah, I believe if we go through the local, we'll find Indulge Food Hall. They got like a nice little stage area. Ah, see the sign. Ooh, looks cool out there. Feel free to sit wherever the heck you want. All right, washy washy. Oops, there don't seem to be any towels at the station, but anyway, I did a little sanitizer and off we go. Oh, delicious things are greeting me already. All right, so we are going to sit. Oh, look at this. Fragile, please don't touch. It's Italian. Wow. Noodles, smokehouse, Starbucks. Woo, yo, 
know, it is not easy to find a table in here. Um, it's a it's little small and cramped. Yeah, embarkation day is always a little crazy. <laughs> so we got tablets to order stuff. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be able to choose different locations. Oh, okay. She just asked, and this one is only for garden. Gotcha. So if you sit at a bar, you only get the menu for that bar. You have to sit at a table to get something. All right. Oh, I'm seeing lots of delicious things pass by. So the quest for a table continues. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Let's have a wander outside. Ah, back to the calmness. Right, we're just gonna let the area in there cool down. I think embarkation day, obviously everybody wants to try all the cool food. So the yeah. we'll chill out. Hopefully a table will open, but that's good to know. So if you sit at one particular bar, you're only gonna get the menu for that bar, like we said at the salad bar. You gotta sit at an actual table if you want the full tablet experience. Yeah. Oh well, let's look at some Miami. Actually, we might just do a little live stream. That'll help us kill time while the lunch rush dies down. Yeah, we live streamed for about an hour. We thought maybe this was an announcement about cabins, but not quite yet. We welcome you to a vacation on the light side and look forward to seeing you around the ship. Ciao, ciao, meow, meow. We managed to snag an outside table here at Indulge Food Hall. They don't have a tablet, but they said somebody would come around and see us soon. And I guess they can take our order. Oh, it's a little windy out here, but hey, I'm ready for some snacks. Well, they have brought us a paper menu, which is actually better for us to look at for video sake. So we have a Latin Quarter, the Garden. Oh gosh, the wind. Hey, y'all. Look, look, we're gonna make it work. Oh, Q, is that barbecue? Yeah. Guess what? We can't read it. Oh. <laughs> She's like, See, yeah, this, is, this is a tag team effort. Seaside rotisserie. Wait, oh, you let's make, sure we, the make sure we looked at it. Okay, let's come over here now. Tamara. Huh? Indian Indian, food. Yeah. Oh, why, the Indian food menu is twice as big as any other panel. Okay, that's exciting. Need to look at everything. Let's flip it over. Noodles. Okay, that's called noodles. And tapas. And my arm. What's this? A word of flavor. World of flavor. All right, lunch menu. Oh okay, here we go. Ah. See if we get. See if we get. Order some food. Where do you see noodles? They brought the drink menu, which I believe says it is from Soleil Mar. Oh yeah, these are the same kind of ones we were looking at upstairs. The sustainable cocktails. They said since it's Saturday, it's this one. Gotcha. Oh, I didn't even notice the days of the yeah. week by them. Good gracious, that was fast. Okay, we barely placed our order and my fish tikka has arrived. You know I went with the Indian restaurant first. And a little vegetable pakora. Oh my gosh, Dee got a salad in the wind. I didn't think about it, I just wanted a salad. Blackened tuna salad. Woo. Dee also got some street noodles. Those look a little, a little heftier, weightier. <laughs> This is Shuri, your assistant cruise director. It's time to inform you that the cabins are really accessible for you to enjoy. Alright, I take back any bad thoughts I had about Indulge Food Hall. The Indian food was fairly delicious. These noodles were good, a little spicy. Was your salad good? I didn't try that. Salad was good. It's very windy out here. Um, but that's alright. I'm full now. I'm happy and I'm getting ready to go check out the cabin. Well, if we jump down to five from here, we should find our cabin. Ooh, welcome to our cabin. Let's see, they've got the little lights for makeup room, do not disturb, and home, because we've come in the cabin and turned the light switch on. They know we are at home. Clever. And it does require a card, but they've given us one. We have made it to our cabin. Let's take a tour. We have an ocean view, which is what we bid on after booking a guaranteed interior. And they gave us, I think, an OA, which is a slightly larger ocean view cabin. Yes, correct. It's big. It's very big. Let's look at it. Let us begin at the door as we usually do. There's all of our safety instructions. Like I said, I pointed out the uh, key thingamajig light switch here. Is this a <laughs> little black panel that I can tap on like a mower on? Apparently so. I don't know why I thought this might come on and do something. Oh. Gosh, there's lots of buttons and things I can't figure out. Cool. Uh, I thought maybe this was storage, but that is not. But we do have closet area here, extra pillows up top, hangy things. This does not appear to have a door to close it. Nice little, like, shoe area underneath. This would be a closet with a couple of baskets. Guys, that's a basket. Nice. Um... This has a little mid-range. Oh, this is one of those convertible units. How would that work? 
Wow. Oh, you could hang real short stuff down there if you wanted to. So that could be made shelf worthy. Or you just leave this little shelf up if you want to hang tall things in here. I think we'll leave it like, oh, don't pinch your finger. Like that for now. Full length mirror here beside the door. Excuse me, straining. Four hooks right here by the bathroom. Let's peek in at the bathroom. Oh yes, that is a grand toileting zone if I've ever seen one. And I've seen one. Some art. Oh, some cute little shelves. What do we got? Three shelves on that side. Big sink. Oh my gosh. That's probably not for us. That's probably extra supplies. Me and, ooh, check that shower out. That looks fun. Okay, let's leave the bathroom. All right, so bathroom, closet, just so we get our bearings coming out into the main space. Here's where they keep their research and D's hey. and their research and mirror D's. Look how big this room is. It's, yeah, it's giant. Wow. Um, we have noticed electrical outlet right here by the couch. And the lamps actually have USB-C and USB plugs. Whoa, now. Big art thingamajig across. Another lamp with power solutions there. This is the... Hmm, are you a fridge? You are a fridge or a cooler thing. What is this hair dryer? I love the hair dryer. Oh, what is it? Oh my gosh. Generally you don't have one. It has a diffuser and everything. So, and that's, that's, I bring my own, but that's cool. <laughs> I'm excited about it. Handy. A couple of shelves up here. Phone. Let's see, right here we have a standard 110, 120. I know, I like this Sorry. handle to like carry your stool around. I thought maybe it opened up. I think it's literally just to make it easy to move around. Cool. Anything in center drawer? Mm, security. <laughs> uh, we've also got power up here by the mirror. There's your sort of 110, 120, and a 220 USB and USB C. Mm -hmm. Way to get with the times. Big lighted mirror. TV. Yeah, what have we over here? <laughs> Little shelfy things. Drawers. I'm helping okay. Out. So four drawers. Two sort of thin shelves <laughs> and the bed area. Oh, that's right. I didn't even touch on this. Three. Storage here, storage here. This looks like a mirror. <laughs> wow. I um, think it's because that's a sleeper sofa. So oh, that would be their nightstand. Probably. Yeah. Uh, again, USB and USB C in the lamp. Regular 110 by this side of the bed. There's the drawers. I did not see any um, other than the lamp power solution on this side of the bed. Yeah. Right. USB-C and USB. Right, but no standard outlet. Okay. But I could use that. That's fine. Yeah. True. And our cute round window Oops, on the world. And I guess you could sit there or use that for storage. <laughs> there cool. You go. Ooh, oh, disco party. What is this lady? Yeah, she has butterfly eyes. <laughs> butterfly <laughs> eyes. No. I get it. Okay. And now we spin. I like how you were staying perfectly behind my head. It looked like you disappeared. <laughs> this is a big room. Yeah. Very good. We are going to have to host dance classes, exercise classes, all sorts of stuff in this cabin. Wow. All right. Well, we're, we don't have luggage, but we'll, we'll get mildly settled in yep. and um, then we'll go look at some stuff. Boop, boop. One more random observation. Well, besides the fact that there are two hooks on that door that I didn't mention is that um, we're used to being able to just kind of leave the uh, bathroom door open. This one is um, spring loaded so that it doesn't stay open. Uh, it will just close itself. Which is cool. Yeah. Well, I also I managed to wake up this screen that I couldn't do before. So we have our do not disturb button, our makeup room, warmer, colder. Mm, nice. Oh, I also just noticed D does not have the same type of nightstand as I or the sofa does. Yours is just a little open air storage down there. Well, even though we've already completed our muster and this step, we've got to watch the 15 minute safety video, I believe, before we can watch any other television. So might as well watch it now. Oh, success. We are extra safe now. So you can do like bookings and things here on the TV. I think they call this iTV. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, if you had not reserved your shows, you can wait till you get to the comfort of your own cabin. You can also check out restaurant menus, which um, are fairly giant. I mean, you can definitely read them. Wow. So the local is kind of like we've experienced Oceans on escape. There's your chicken wings, Ricky. Oh, chicken wings. <laughs> so off to explore. Yeah, the carpet makes weird noises when we're stepping <laughs> on it. 
Fun fact, they do not have the fish on the carpet here, but these arrows will tell you when you are going forward on the ship. Is this the elevators? It's something. Ah. So we're going to try to go explore some up and out, and we're going to try to go all the way up to deck 18, which has a special button on these aft elevators. There's a little rundown of what can be found on the ship. So yeah, I guess we'll just start at the top, go see some stuff, and work our way down a little bit. 17 and 18 are your main outside decks, I guess. And then 7 and 8 really are your main inside decks. I guess 6 too, to a degree. 16 is all havens. Oh yeah. Oh, no, there's this spot. Mm. Welcome to deck 18. Oh, we can see the weather. <laughs> Let's wander. All right, so this is the Speedway, the Stadium, the Rush, Tea Time, which is golf, Bullseye, which I guess is darts, Rush and Drop, I think, are the two slides. And a line of people signing. They're doing something over there, probably Speedway. Well, let's see what we can see up here. Viewing area for the Speedway. Well, we can go up and see if anybody's doing anything. May as well go to the top of the top of the world. There's some go-kart stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure if anybody's actually running right now. Oh, it goes up even further. Wahoo! There's our rules. Maximum weight 265, maximum height 82 inches. Ah. Okay. Yeah, check these little dudes out. That's kind of fun. What is the press area? Are we press? Guys, we're in the press area. Please. No photos, please. It's cool. So this is like the three level track? Wow. Are red and green. That's very good in case you don't <laughs> That's know. That's true. Stop and go. Nice. There's the slide entrances down there, a couple decks below us. So we'll have to walk around and see all of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is some up close action right here. All right, let the wandering continue, I suppose. Oh, wander. What is this? Cool little photo ops or something. Oh my gosh, it's like a little game zone. Crazy golf. Oh, they do have complimentary mini golf. This is the dart zone. So yeah, pay darts. I guess you basically just rent one of these little areas, I guess. And you can play different games. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they got a screen up there that says set up one drive, so maybe they're having some technical issues with the golf right now. That's why it's complimentary. Gotcha. Oh yeah, all the screens just went off. <laughs> yeah, they're testing. Oh, we just stopped by the desk for clarification. I guess the golf is always complimentary, but there was something back there that said upgrade for a chance to win a cruise. So there's some kind of thing to it, but they said always complimentary on the golf, but I guess the darts are pay. We've made it over to the drop slide. Oh, somebody's in the chamber now, aren't they? Yeah, 3.30. There's the drop slide off the side of the ship. Oh, this is a cool view. This is kind of like the infinity pool area where we just sat and had lunch earlier. Looking out onto Miami. There's a fun looking little area too. I'm not sure if that's... It does. I thought maybe that was a special zone. We're learning as we go. We've got Prima Speedway Bar back here on the back of this deck. Here is the Rush Slide. So this is the, I guess also a dry slide, but not a drop dry slide. Right, right. <laughs> okay. Little entrance up there. Oh, this is the two twisty ones. Okay, so I guess they can do two riders at a time. And you just twist your way on down off the side of the ship, right past some people's balconies. Look at those things, like intertwined with people's balconies. That's an interesting design choice. Yeah. Oh, we've got announcements going. This area, I think, is called the stadium. Looks like air hockey or shuffleboard, ping pong, foosball. Let's go inside. Okay, we're safe now. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so this is Food Republic, Palomar, and Surfside Cafe, which is the buffet. Oh, the only way to get to the pool is to cut through the buffet or the other side where some more restaurants are. So we're making our way through the buffet. I believe we have made it to the pool deck. Yeah, Waves Bar over there. Oh yeah, a little, some kind of slidey action. Oh, that's the wave slide. Yeah, so this is the main pool. Oh, I guess it's funny. They keep it at about three feet when they're at sea or four and a half feet when they're uh, in a port. 
So they fill it up fuller while standing still, which makes sense. Some nice little navigational signs. All right, so this looks like it's taking us toward Galaxy Pavilion and Observation Lounge. Ah, uh, yeah. Why this jump up while the jumping is good? So this side is a little sun deck. Little beds and things. Ooh, showers. I need to shower review those suckers. The kids' aqua park is over on this side. It might be closed because I don't really see any kids in it. So hey, perfect time to take a look at it also. Well, that was about all the excitement up here other than the entrance to the wave water slide. So let's go back to um 17, I believe. So just inside here is Galaxy Pavilion and the Observation Lounge. Let's jump to Observation Lounge first. Oh, huge windows, panoramic views. Okay, this is my speed right here. Artwork of creepy looking Darth Vader skeleton men. Oh, they got books and things. Are these just decorative or can I no. learn stuff and read? Oh. Oh, yeah, they still. Man, put your boxes back together. Get all your pieces in there. <laughs> Yeah, the boxes are a little shot, but this is a D's good Samaritan deed for the day. Ooh. Having just done virgin voyages, they took really good care of all their names. <laughs> they really did. They really did. Now we can return to those nice Miami panoramic scenic views. Wow, this looks like an amazing place to just chill. My sentiments exactly. Oh, there's like a hand washing sink over there. Oh, I think it's maybe a bar around the corner. We'll find out after we relax. I can sit here and observe Symphony's big old booty back there with her double dry slides. Our team members are around the ship in our master station, so if you haven't checked in yet today with them, please make sure that you stop whatever you're doing, go over there, check in with them, it will take just a few minutes, and then you can keep on having some fun here on board in Region Prima. D has located sail away snacks! Oof! So there's coffee just around the corner and apparently some cookies. I see dark chips and white chips and lots of ships and... We're getting ready to sail away here in a little bit. Well, one good thing is we get to watch the parade of ships that will leave the port before us. So first up is Carnival Spirit. Look at that big fat oil tail with the steakhouse in it. You're looking good, girl. He said it feels like we're sitting here watching the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Kind of does. Here come all the floats, literally floating by. Well, it wasn't much of a parade. We have started vibrating ourselves, so we are second out of the port today. You can see our thrustery dudes, just a thrustery doing in the water. I can hear some boom boom music coming from a sail away party. We'll walk by that here in a minute on the way back to the cabin. After we soak in all this Miami. There's a few parting shots of the park. Miami Beach as we sail away and head off for adventure. <laughs> and now out to the party zone. Doesn't look like there's any sort of coordinated dancing or things like that, so we'll just dip in here in the forward elevators. Oh, we made it down to deck seven to do a little more exploration. Let's see, we're at the very front of the ship, kinda. Okay, that is Prima Club Prima Theater. I think is what that sign says. Okay. Oh, so this is the theater. So that's the front. Let's wander aftwardly. There is timeless luxury, so we are one level above the main floor of the atrium right now. Why is there a desk called Onboard Credit? I want some of that. Oh, this is no, this is not yours. Okay. Yours has a pattern on it. I just have this here. I know. Agent ship my luggage. <laughs> well, they did confiscate your suitcase that time. Yeah, this is all the section, I guess, of either tags that fell off, somehow luggage that was accepted without being tagged. Yikes. Probably mostly fell off. All right, through the gateway and the Effie shop. Oh, this is a bright area. Ha. Huh. Time zones with all your shiny, shiny watch needs. This is simply called the zone. 
All right. So Sid Norman's. It's Fleetwood Mac in concert. Very good, but very popular. Ah, so it's acoustic night tonight, I guess. So Sid Norman's officially. Uh oh. Oh man, they're doing some art stuff in here right now. Well, he's allowed us to come in and do a tour of Sid Norman's if we listen to the uh, pitch about the art auction and all that stuff. So hey, worth it. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll get to come in here and hang out a little bit. This has a cool vibe going on. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Andreas. Yeah, not a whole lot of seating in here, so I guess you definitely do have to show up early. Whoa, look at this art. When we go back and forth, it does things. So hey guys, that's Sid Norman's art gallery. <laughs> oh, this is the improv, like, comedy type theater here. We've got a couple of shows booked. I guess you can, yeah, they don't care if you peek, I guess. I mean, yeah, there's nothing happening in here. There's a stage. I like how they have the old school like footlights <laughs> that they would literally, I guess, light up like candle style. Yeah. Yeah, there's, wow, every time now I'm going in these venues, I kind of am noticing how small they are. So you really will have to show up somewhere early if you want to see anything good. A little seating on this side, a little bar over there. Very nice. Well, back there is the Metropolitan, which is kind of where we hung out earlier. So I guess we'll jump downward. Down to six. The deck six is home to the casino. But if we turn this way, Belvedere Bar, I don't think we've seen. Man, there's some liveliness going on back here. Yep, that leads over to Cagney's. This is the Commodore room, which is one of the dining rooms. Yeah, we'll probably look a little closer at this later, but this is the menu. They're doing something on here now where the menu in the dining room does not change. It's the same menu every single night, and you can just choose what you like. All right, time to bumble back down to deck five. Oh, I see my suitcase. Oh, gosh, did they put... My, the, mine was... Oh, I thought that said overweight. <laughs> it was like, what? Norwegian Cruise Line. All right. D suitcase. <laughs> Where are you? Ooh, look at them waves going by. We can kind of get a peek back at the sunset and stuff, too, a little bit. Well, it looks like they were giving the luggage some treatment out there, maybe. I noticed, because uh, when we got here, we didn't have luggage tags because of our last-minute upgrade. And my little tag that the porter had put on, I guess, just tore and was hanging on by a thread here. But fortunately, they were able to take my little tag and cram it inside our um, things that we, whatever these are called, tag holders that we put on our suitcases, which are in our Amazon affiliate shop, by the way. So, fortunately, um, but yeah, looks like a lot of tags fell off of a lot of bags out there. Hmm. Y'all, we missed a whole section earlier when we were checking out the cabin. The closet door slides the other way, and there's more tall hangy stuff. The safe, and a couple more of those drawers. So yeah, goes both ways. <laughs> Good evening. It is fresh and clean mode. We are going to go on a quest for dinner and also a quest for D suitcase. Bye, suitcase. I know. Why I have a feeling. <laughs> well, I don't count Pride of America as a traditional uh, no. Norwegian, but now we are 0 for 2 so far when it comes to Norwegian cruises and delivering these bags specifically. I don't know what it is. Well, there's last nothing time, in it. There's a, a little hair uh -huh. straightener and a hair dryer. There's so nothing in it. And then close. That's yeah. it. On escape, they confiscated it, and they admitted <laughs> later that they confiscated it wrongly because they thought they saw something in it that might me need to be checked out. It turned out to be like a hair straightener, which it was, was totally like legit. One of those brush but, straighteners. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess you know, better safe than sorry. We appreciate that security is looking out for things like that. But anyway, cool if they tell you about them. <laughs> let's go investigate. Hopefully, we'll find it. Or it might be right yeah. now. Yeah. All right. Onward. Onward. <laughs> suitcase that's amazing Woo. suitcase party we're so glad to see you again suitcase your dinner ready now i mean i would have gone in that because it's norwegian freestyle they don't really care that's true actually i like to not be a little fresher though <laughs> yeah right. let's roll okay. do, 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 do. So we are hopefully going to try the Commodore room tonight. Well, we are in luck. They've got some tables available right now. So here is, good gracious, this menu. That is ginormous. Whoa! 
I kind of said earlier, this is, I guess, the menu that we will have the entire cruise. They've got a couple of different dining rooms on here. But the menu is supposed to stay the same each and every night. So you don't have to feel like you have to pick, you know, oh, I'm never going to see this item again. That kind of thing. But anyway, there is our bread selection for the evening. And we have butter. this is going to change either so we will see night to night if it does hell all right we're having um dessert overload i ordered this bread pudding uh, which came lovely and d ordered apple pie but apparently instead of apple pie she brought a lava cake which she said we're just gonna have because it's extra and for some reason she brought a creme brulee so and and she's still bringing you an apple pie Ooh dear. All right. I feel like those could have gone to somebody else. We're in trouble. All right. Dee got her apple pie. Woo. Yay. Yo, I am full beyond full. Oh, I'm in the casino now. Hold on. Oh, I hear stuff happening out here in the atrium. Looks like the band is getting ready to kick in. This atrium is relatively tiny though, so we'll see if we can find uh, some sort of seating. Let's see if we jump up a level. Oh, there's cozy chairs up here at least up oh, but the only problem now is the band is under there like right there would be the band if there were not a floor in the way yeah, at least we can hear them i think there's our little starbucks up here i hear they're singing the lion king down there but it is tough to hear up here let's wander and see what other fun we can get up to acoustic night going on here at Sid Norman's as we learned earlier. Yeah, well, it's not bad. I don't mind if we sit over here to the side. And we got a couple of nice little plaid chairs just here to the corner of the stage. up to deck eight. Oh, they're fun stairs. I mean, they don't look that fun. At the top of the stairs is the whiskey bar. So hey, you know what? They were fun stairs. Not gonna be Dee's favorite place probably, but hey, works for me. Oh, so their menu has like a whole whiskey history, which is kind of cool. Oh, they have whiskey flights as well. No, or, do not need that. <laughs> no, a whole page, well, with five whiskey cocktails. Oh, I feel like I had this on Escape. So some of these names are familiar. I feel like some of these drinks came from the Draft House. I ah. really don't want any of them. <laughs> We have come back to the cabin to find our paper for tomorrow, which is a C day, and a notice that we are turning our clocks back an hour tonight as we enter a new time zone. Good, Good night. night! We are going to bed, y'all. So Super late. We, it actually Technically is. Technically early. Really. Yeah. We went, it's like one something in the morning. We went up to the whiskey bar to mm -hmm. hang out, and we met up with Cruise Habit. They're so um, sweet. I know. Yeah. Fellow bloggers recently mm -hmm. turned vloggers. And we just chatted and chatted and chatted and chatted, <laughs> and here we are. So, anyway, we're going to bed. Mm -hmm. um, sea day tomorrow. I actually didn't know we were changing time. So, I assume that notice since they put it on the bed tonight means go ahead and change it. We'll, we'll figure it that. out tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but that's it. Dinner so, was excellent. Oh, it really um, was. The Buddha Bowl vegetarian. If you are vegetarian, try it. Even if you're not, it's really, really I'm good. I'm probably going to get it one night because it was actually good. Yeah, service was phenomenal. Um, so Yo, Norman's, every bite was good. The performance, like the quality mm -hmm. of the singing was so the harmonies. good. harmonies. I see why people love it. But go early. We were like 
over half an hour early and we got like one of the last seats. Yeah. So, so small venues. Yes. We're finding, you know, lots of times it's hard to find places to sit in the venues. But it was good perfect. day overall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sleep time, so tired. Yeah, we're going to bed. <laughs> good night. Good night. <laughs>